Okay guys, so I'm going to go over real quick, I know I have my other video, but I'm just going to show you guys what I have in my car bag that would incorporate into this, my first aid kit. This is a waterproof box made by Plano. Now, what I'd keep in there is some new skin, some more medications, some Neosporin, Q-tips, some gauze, Arbisol or uh, Orgel. If you ever had a toothache on your camping trip, you're going to be in some serious pain, which I actually personally went through. I always make sure I have this now. Some tape. And in the bottom of there, I have a uh, different assortment of band-aids pretty straightforward nothing too crazy I'm not gonna put a staple uh, gun in here for stitching any wounds or anything if I get in that much trouble I'm pretty screwed so there's that also I keep a mobile charging unit this is a Scorpion 2, solar charge, flashlight, hand crank, radio with antenna, also charges your phone, so bring your phone charger, you can charge your phone, it's got a nice little clip, you can clip it anywhere, it's digital, I really hate uh, screwing around with the analogs, bottle opener, Alright, somewhere here I have my binoculars. I don't really feel like digging into it too much. But a uh, nice pair of binoculars is nice too. Extends your vision. Also some sunblock and bug spray. Very important. Which I think might have fallen out of my pack. I think it's floating around my car somewhere. Oh, also, I almost forgot. Probably why I had the extra space in my knife bag. This is the Sawyer uh, part of the Sawyer system. Nice little squeeze filtration bag. Again, make sure you have gloves. All right, so that is pretty much everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I pack this. Let me get set up and I'll show you here in my next portion. Uh, I think this is going to be part six or part five. But uh, stay, go ahead and uh, check the next video on the lineup.